Hey everybody and welcome to part three of the integrating the events calendar plugin with the Genesis theme framework. Uh, in this part of the tutorial I'm going to go into customizing breadcrumbs, um, working with customizing some uh, sidebars and mis other miscellaneous little tweaks. So let's get to it. The first thing is I'm going to go to my events page where I've got the calendar view set up and uh, as I showed you before the breadcrumbs are not looking too good here. Uh, I've just got a home link forward slash and then it's actually showing the title of um, one of my events that I've got in the calendar so that's totally wrong. We're going to correct that. Uh, and. I'll also just quickly set the layout for this page, so getting it so it's full width and we get rid of this sidebar. So I'm going to go back into Sublime Text 2 and go into my functions.php file for that's in my child theme. And back in part 2, uh, I added that filter to set the layout to full width on the home page. So I'm just going to add to that conditional statement. Uh, this little function right here to check if we're um, if tribe is month, which is just checking to see if it's on the grid view page, uh, and set that to be full width content too. So I'm gonna oops. So I'm gonna save that and go back to my page, refresh, and it is full width. So that looks a lot better than it did before. The next thing we want to do is clean up these breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna go back into some lime text too. And if I go into the Genesis parent folder and into the lib folder and in classes, I'll find a file named breadcrumb.php. And if I open that, this file contains the class for the breadcrumbs in Genesis. And all I'm going to do is select uh, all the contents of the file and copy them and then close the file. And then I can close the uh, Genesis parent theme folder. And within my Genesis child folder, um, for organization's sake, I'm first going to create a new folder and I'm going to title that or label that um, includes. And in includes, I'm going to right click again and select new file. And that's where I'm going to put this new file breadcrumb.php. And in that new file, I'm just going to paste what I copied before and then save. The next thing we need to do is go back into the functions.php file and above where I'm setting my custom layouts I'm just going to add some spacing there and then paste in this line where I'm going to require uh, my breadcrumb.php include which will include that file in the theme and allow us to use it however we want. All right, and next I need to start uh, editing some of this stuff to make it our own custom breadcrumb class. Uh, so to start out, um, go to the top of the breadcrumb.php file that you created, and on line 23, uh, change Genesis breadcrumb to custom breadcrumb. And the next thing is on line 462, change Genesis breadcrumb to custom breadcrumb. And the next thing is on line 467, change where it says Genesis breadcrumb to custom breadcrumb. And the next thing we want to change is on line 474. We just want to change Genesis here to custom. And on line 474, um, I'm basically just going to copy this add action call uh, and create a new line right below that and paste in and change this from add action to remove action and make it so this actually is going to remove the Genesis do breadcrumbs function. All right, so just a couple more things on line 488, change this to custom do breadcrumbs, and then scroll down a bit further to line 515, and change this to custom breadcrumb, and then save your changes. 
Okay, so let's go back to that breadcrumb.php file and let's start modifying it. The first thing I want to do is add a couple arguments um, that we'll be able to use for the breadcrumbs. So um, within this uh, um, default arguments statement starting on line 51, right after the list separator argument, add a new line and add this line where I'm setting the argument events underscore root underscore link and the value is this link where I'm basically getting our events link which is whatever the link is for uh, our main events page it could be the list it could be the calendar either or um, and then I'm uh, I've got a just a standard HTML title here and I put in the main events calendar page uh, change that if you want to whatever you want and then the um, text for my link is just events and what this what I'm going to do with this events root link is I'm just going to use it as kind of the the in between um, the home breadcrumb link uh, then events and then whatever comes after that. So that's what that's for. And then I'm just going to create two more labels um, within this labels array. Uh, one label uh, that's going to be um, the main events calendar page and another label that's going to be the main events list page. Okay, next I'm going to search for a function called get page crumb, and that's the one I want. On line 188, um, it may be on a different line for you, so uh, just do a search in the code and get to this function, get page crumb. Um, and basically, this is the function that's used for breadcrumbs on pages. And all I'm going to do is after this first conditional statement um, right in between here, I'm going to throw in a bunch of code that I've got for the events calendar plugin. And these are basically just a bunch of um, else if statements where I'm checking to see um, if we're on the main calendar page or calendar category page or the main events list page single events, single event days, um, and this should actually say single venues uh, for the venues page. And let me just go through this code and kind of ex try to explain it. Um, so the first else if statement, um, I'm just checking to see if uh, we're on the main calendar page, and then I'm setting the crumb variable to um, the events calendar label argument that we set um, in the last step. And that's where these labels actually come in really handy because I'm using them in a couple different spots. Um, the, the next item for the calendar category pages, uh, I'm pulling in that events root link uh, argument and then I'm um, adding a separator in between that, and then I'm displaying the um, just the standard taxonomy label that's uh, actually set up for this breadcrumbs class, which I didn't even customize. Um, and the next else if statement is for the events list, and that's just displaying our events list label uh, argument. And the next else if statement is for single events, and that basically just uses that events root link, so uh, just that events link that will take people back to your main events page, uh, and then the single post title of the post, which will be the title of your event. Uh, the next else if statement is for single event days, so um, days where you click on a day in the calendar and you get to see uh, a list of events that are on that particular day. Again, I'm just using the events root link um, as the base for the breadcrumb. Uh, and then 
I added some custom code here, uh, just a little bit of text that says events on, colon, and then a space, and then I'm actually bringing in this event date query variable that's passed to the page, and then reformatting that with the date function. And then the final uh, else if statement is for our venues, and that's just the same as the single events where I'm using the events root link and then the single post title. So go ahead and save your changes at this point. And if you go back to your calendar page and let me get the Chrome developer tools out of the way and refresh, now the um, calendar page displays our events calendar label that we set up, the main events calendar page, which you can change if you go back to the breadcrumb.php file and right up here in the, the uh, label arguments say you wanted to take out events just so it's the main calendar page save that go back and that change is reflected and if we go into the events list page you'll see our the main events list page label and go back to the calendar and if we go into this awesome event we'll see that this awesome event is now using our uh, events root link which will take us back to the main events calendar page and then we've got the title of that event there at the end of the breadcrumb and if I go into um, a category this awesome events category um, now it will display the events root link and archives for awesome events. So that's pretty awesome. And if I go back to the single event and I click on this a rock and spot venue, then I will see my events root link and the title of that venue. So that's that's pretty much it for breadcrumbs. Um, we've got them all customized. We've got all of the events pages taken care of. Um, and uh, feel free to go back into that breadcrumb.php file and play around with things if you want to uh, customize things further. One of the other things that I forgot to mention in the steps that I'm going to cover in this tutorial is uh, modifying the page titles on different uh, events pages. So if I go back to my website here um, on the main calendar page, I've got calendar of events. Um, if I go into a single event, this is fine. Um, and if I go into a venue, that's fine too. Uh, if I go into a specific events category, this is pretty okay, but I'll, I'll show you how to customize this. And if we actually go into um, our events list, um, I'll show you how to change this title here as well. So let's go back to Sublime Text 2, and I'm going to go into my functions.php file of my child theme, and right underneath the custom layout filter that we added before, I'm going to paste in this filter for um, filtering our post titles in Genesis. And basically uh, all this does, it's kind of similar to what we do with the breadcrumbs where we conditionally check uh, what page we're on and then set uh, the title for each page. And I've got all my titles set here. So um, uh, just like for the breadcrumbs, I've got my main calendar page, calendar category pages, main events list, single events, and all the rest. And so for the main events, uh, or for the main calendar page, uh, I, I'm just going to use events calendar. Uh, for the calendar category pages, I'm going to use events calendar as the root, and then put um, just a little right uh, quote in there, and then uh, the single term title, which will just pull in the single uh, events category title for that events category page. Uh, for the main events list, I'm just going to uh, display events list for the page title. Single events just use the regular title that they would use um, because we don't really want to change that. Um, the single event days, I'm doing something very similar to what I did for the breadcrumbs where uh, I'm prefixing um, the, the date with events on and then actually getting the date from uh, one of the query variables, the event date that's coming in 
uh, on the page and then reformatting that date so it'll actually display um, events on April 4th 2012 uh, and then for venues again just like single events we're just displaying the title so uh, go ahead and um, get that code into your functions.php file save and then if we go back to the website let me go back to the main calendar page now we've got events calendar uh, there and if I go to the list I have events list and if I go into a single event that should just be the same if I go into a category uh, I should have events calendar and then the, uh, the double arrow uh, quote symbol and then uh, recurring events the name of my category and what else oh um, if we go into individual days where there's events so I've got an event right here on the 6th um, it says events on April 6 2012 so that is how you customize page titles in Genesis all right, I didn't have enough time to get into page sidebars in this tutorial, so keep an eye out for part four, where I will go over customizing sidebars in Genesis and uh, just a couple other miscellaneous things before we wrap up. Thanks for watching.